Yo, what's up, guys? All right, so today I'm vlogging. Um, but today, what I keep staring out of shot is a bunch of parts that I have for Emmy, and I want to put them on uh, like door panels because mine, as you guys know, were shot. If you didn't see that, got a new seat, and this is not going to be like this for very long. So. Pretty big project coming along. Also got a short throw shifter to install an Emmy today. Wheel bearings are coming in this week, maybe the beginning of next week. Um, so I wanna try to put that in because it's really, really bad. If I can show you how bad the wheel bearings are, you'd probably be like, don't fucking drive. Shout out to Chris Fix. Thank you um, for the DIY on how to super clean your engine bay the safest way. Um, Cause I do want my car to still run after doing this. Now I'm picked up like, all the stuff I needed, literally like everything I needed to super clean my engine bay the right way. I got everything laid out right here in front of me. Um, I'm prepared and ready to, I guess, just uh, do what I need to do. Now it's Project Emmy today. I just need to get done to my car that I've been neglecting, unfortunately, for some time. A lot of that has to do with it being in the shop for over a month. I plan on installing the short throw shifter today. Uh, we're gonna try to figure out how that works. Doesn't look like it's that like, intricate to install. I'm pretty sure that's pretty simple. A couple bolts and a little bit of wiggling. Uh, my seat was shot completely. And look at that. I mean, that's just, that's, that's bad. That's not cool. And we are going to be cleaning this engine bay right here. It's filthy right now. There's like, you know, it's, I don't think this thing has ever been cleaned. Ever. Down here, where I started cleaning up a little bit. And if you were to follow the camera back, which I don't know if we're gonna get a decent focus in on that. But deep down in here, right here, this is all that same support bar down there. And it just follows the same bar. Well, that's black, so. When we're finished, hopefully it's gonna look like that. So, plan. so first things first, what we're gonna do is start on the front seat. I, what I forget, forgot to tell you guys about is that I plan on painting this. So I plan on just painting this seat. I wanna get this one out and paint it right. I wanna get this one painted, excuse me. I wanna get the one for the passenger seat out of the car and I wanna have that painted red as well. Hopefully that isn't as much of a pain in the ass as so far looking like it, you know like a lot of taping and shit so let me get to that first and then we can jump back into the video so let's just go over some of the things you're probably going to need to do this shop towels i recommend for those really greasy spots that you don't want to wipe or scrape down with your uh with your pipe cleaners or any kind of a, a bristle brush that will just push that dirt around you want to get your soapy water that is warm soapy water we have an assortment of brushes here that we can use everything from a toothbrush paint brushes to uh, wire brushes and this right here thanks advanced auto for the plug this is Meguiar's uh, ultimate black plastic restorer now what it does is pretty much it's designed to take those really dull plastic parts and rubber hoses that look real kind of worn out and old and just kind of restore it to bring it back to a really factory look where it's got that nice shine to it. So it looks like we've got several parts to go ahead and get over with our brushes and looks like the person before me who owned the car tried to paint the intake manifold and he didn't do a great job of it. But this thing is really filthy look at that you know that's my fuel rail right there that's not good so we're gonna get rid of all this dirt all this grime here and we're gonna make this thing look brand new and it's gonna go from this to this yeah it looks a little better now I mean I still it could still use a lot more cleaning, to be honest. For now, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the final result. It was better than initially when I popped the bonnet this morning, so, you know, that's that's always a good thing. But overall, the engine bay itself, like the area back here, could have definitely used a much longer wash, because that came out really shitty, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. But no one ever sees your firewall when they pop your bonnet, right? I mean, who looks at that? 
This is what matters the most. Between these two right here. This matters. Now this would look a lot better if that was actually painted black properly instead of this crazy rush shit. Because this kind of looks like it's actually dirtier than it is and it's really not. Alright, we got the seat out. Beat. Beat that. We're able to super clean the motor. Check this out. That's good now. Woo, 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 woo.